Welcome to my physical wellness journey. Today I'm gonna to show you guys one of the easiest recipes of all time. I originally found this on TikTok. I only modified it very slightly. Um, and the reason being is just there's a couple of things that didn't fit my nutrition goals. Uh, so I just changed up a couple of slight things. Uh, but this is one of the best things. I make this every Sunday along with one other meal prep that I do every Sunday been doing this for like 12 weeks now I lost uh, I lost a decent amount of fat so I, I had I had gained a little bit of weight um, just from having a poor diet I, you know I was active the entire time in the gym but I just you know wasn't uh, eating the right diet wasn't doing enough cardio so I switched things up a little bit uh, the main goal was to get better test results on my blood work I uh, found out that I had elevated liver enzymes, I had symptoms of a fatty liver, so I um, decided to switch up my diet, increase my exercise, and what I did was I basically got myself into a diet consisting of all whole foods. So I read the ingredients on everything that I buy, and uh, I, avoid, um, I avoid anything that has like preservatives, additives, um, anything that says natural flavors on it, I avoid. Um, so I, you know, I really just look for basic stuff. Like if you look at this Frank's Red Hot that's in this recipe and you read the ingredients on this, it's literally aged cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, water, salt, and garlic powder. So it's, you know, it's all whole ingredients. I've got organic chicken breast. Um, now one of the things I changed from the TikTok recipe was his recipe called for dry ranch seasoning packets uh well one packet of uh, dry ranch seasoning so i actually just found a recipe where i was able to make the dry ranch seasoning on my own so i was able to control the ingredients that went into it when i read the ingredients on those um dry seasoning packets it didn't uh, you know align with what i want to put into my body so i made my own and i'm going to put that recipe in the description if you want me to show you the process of making it, it's very self-explanatory, but leave a comment if you want to see it and I'll do that. Um, the cheese that I use in this is a local cheese. Um, you know, I just actually found it at Whole Foods and it was from a uh, pasture-raised cow. Um, so pasture-raised local cheese I use for mine. Um, also, the recipe had called for um, non-fat plain Greek yogurt um, at the end. You'll see when it comes up, but for me, myself, it's not important to have the non-fat. Um, I'm not trying to have a low-fat diet. Um, so, you know, I just use regular. Um, if I have non-fat around, I use non-fat, but it's not a necessity for me. And, uh, you know, that's basically all that goes into it. So now I'm just gonna show you how I make it. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our organic chicken breast. You're gonna to wanna to use two pounds of organic chicken breast and you throw them right into the crock pot. Very, very easy. Once you have your chicken in the crock pot, time to measure one cup of Frank's Red Hot. Take the one cup of Frank's Red Hot Pour that right over the chicken. Now the original recipe had called for one packet of the dry ranch seasoning. Um, just from reading the back, I was able to do the math and it's three tablespoons of dry ranch seasoning, give or take. So with the one that I made myself, I just use a regular um, one tablespoon uh, measuring spoon. And I take three of those. And the original recipe, in addition to the dry ranch seasoning, which actually contains garlic powder and onion powder, it calls for a little bit more onion powder and garlic powder, so we're gonna add that in addition. Okay, so you're gonna take a little bit more onion powder. A little bit more garlic powder. Once you've got everything added in there, you're just gonna stir it up so that everything's uniform in the pot. 
You don't want to just have clumps of powder on top of everything. All right, so now that the seasoning is all stirred into the hot sauce, literally all you're going to do, put the cover on the crock pot. We're going to set the crock pot on high. And my crock pot has a timer for four hours and six hours. You're supposed to keep it on high for three hours. So, hey, Alexa, set a timer for three hours. Three hours, starting now. Now I have a timer set for three hours. I'm going to come back to this at that point in time and continue where I left off. Now, the cool thing that I like about this video and the reason why I do this every week is because obviously when you're meal prepping, there's a lot going on. So generally, once I set the timer for three hours, I'll go work on making a pot of rice and another meal that I prep for the week. It gives me enough time to portion out my other meal, to portion out my rice. And literally, I clean up the whole kitchen after myself. And then by the time I come back to this, I just have to shred the chicken, add a couple more things like you'll see, and, uh, and then I'm basically done. You know, I could put, you know, clean up the crock pot, put the rest of the stuff away, and that's the end of my meal prep every Sunday. So um, very convenient. We're going to revisit this when the timer's up. Okay, so at this point in time, the timer's gone off. Um, it's been three hours, so what you're going to do is you're going to have your Greek yogurt, non-fat plain Greek yogurt, or regular plain Greek yogurt, whatever you prefer. Cheddar cheese, some people use low-fat cheese. Um, I just use regular. In my case, like I said, I found pasture-raised um, pasture-raised cheese that's local to my area. Um, and the cheese is also optional. Like my first eight weeks of doing this recipe, I wasn't consuming any dairy at all, so um, I just skipped the cheese. But if you want it, you add it. So at this point, what you're going to do is you're going to remove the lid from the crock pot. You're going to take two forks, and you're going to start shredding up the chicken. So starting with our yogurt, we're going to do a half a cup. That looks good to me. For the cheese, you're going to do a quarter of a cup. And that's really all there is to it. You stir it all together. All right, so that's really it. I make this every Sunday. If you want to see more recipes like this, make sure you subscribe. I'll show you what else I eat. So that's really it. You know, I make, it takes like three and a half hours all said and done, but you really only, you know, you saw how easy it was to dump everything in this crock pot. Maybe it took five minutes and then another five minutes at the end. Those other basically three hours, you could be doing other things. You can cook another meal like I do, clean up the kitchen, do laundry, whatever you need to do on a Sunday. Um, this is very easy and convenient. If you want to see more recipes like this, more recipes that I do to stay healthy, and more recipes that I've been personally utilizing over the last probably maybe 12 weeks or so, I've lost over 20 pounds. I've lost a few percent uh, body fat. I'm getting closer to my goals. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to show you guys more of what I cook, what I eat and uh, my lifestyle, how I get there. So, you know, I'll be posting workouts and cardio, all kinds of shit. So definitely subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys next week.